everybody. Say hi. Hi. We are at the Disney Caribbean Beach Resort and we are here for the Expedition Everest Challenge. Um, it is a 5K obstacle course scavenger hunt at Disney's Animal Kingdom. And so we flew down here, have a little vacation, check out this run, really excited. Um, interestingly enough, there's like this huge cheerleading summit here. So there's like thousands of cheerleaders all around. So it should be an interesting weekend. <laughs> um, but the run is tomorrow night at 10 o'clock. We're heading to Packet Pickup. We're gonna get a bite to eat, then we're gonna go to Packet Pickup. Here is the view. Uh, they have hammocks. They have hammocks. And so this is like, I guess this giant lake and they have the sandy beach and there's the food court, which is where we're heading right now to get some food. Yes, Here's the pool area. Pretty active. And on the other side, I think, is the food court. Center Town, or as I know it, the food court. Food Town. Food Town. <laughs> Tummy Town. So you enter through a little gift. <clears throat> so you enter through a little gift shop. They have a bunch of, obviously, you know, park stuff and hotel stuff and Caribbean stuff because it's the Caribbean Beach Resort. There's an arcade over there. Looks like a bigger uh, store over there. And this way is the food court. It looks like they have a whole bunch of pastries and stuff for breakfasts and a pizza place. Let's see what they have. There's the pizza and pasta shop, the hamburger shop, Bridgetown Broiler, and Montego's Deli. Oh look, Mickey Waffles. Mm. So, you know, it's vacation. I got a Cuban burger with french fries, and I got this little guy that we can share for dessert. Mmm, Rice Krispie Treat. Jenny looks like she got a Cuban with potato chips and some kettle corn for later. I probably should have clarified what's on the Cuban burger. It's got pulled pork, ham, I think Swiss cheese, and the burger. It's tasty. I like it. The, the pork is, uh, I don't know, maybe I need some barbecue sauce. I did get some, so, but not bad. The fries are really good. This gift shop is pretty significantly large. This gift shop is pretty huge, actually. I mean, it's got a whole bunch of different stuff, even all the way down there. Just gonna walk around, see what they have. Bunch of cool looking stuff. I really like this bag. Look at the cookies. Yoda. I love how they sell alcohol in the gift shop. So, you know, you can get a bottle of wine, go back to your room, get a couple of wine glasses. Even these little wine ones. Mini wines. It is about, I don't know, I don't have my watch. I have my magic band. Check that out. <laughs> Woo! It's 424. 424, and we are on our way to Packet Pickup. It's in the Animal Kingdom parking lot. I've seen some pictures and stuff. They have some cool t-shirts and stuff. They say it's not really an expo. It's really more of just like a Packet Pickup type thing um, with a small gift shop because this is the last e Expedition Everest, so it sounds like maybe they're not going all out for it. Nonetheless, it's my first Expedition Everest, so I'm still super excited. Gonna go pick up our packets now. They have a special sign in the lobby for the Everest Challenge because we get on a bus to go pick up our uh, packets and uh, to go to the race tomorrow. Okay. Here's where we wait for the bus. We are here at Animal Kingdom. We are looking for the packet pickup. Hi. Um, I see people walking over I there. see people walking this way, so we're going to assume it's that way because I saw some tents when we were driving by on the bus. Um, I don't see a lot of signage that really kind of clearly guides us there, but there is a huge oh, yeah, there's tent. Huge tents over there. So let me show you where the huge tent is. Huge tent, huge tent here. Tent. Yeah, there it is, all the way in the distance. We're going there. I think that's it. 
Yeah, so we are headed there now. Okay, we found it. We're right. It is just getting closer. We are here. There's some hours for the expo. It's small, like uh, like I've been hearing. There's a store there in the distance from uh, Fit to Run. It's like the official Disney, I don't know, sports store. New Balance is here with their shoes. Ah, they've got t-shirts for sale and uh, these little Expedition Everest signs here. Let's walk up to one and take a look. Expedition Everest. Oh, hold on. I gotta take a picture of that. <laughs> Run Disney. Event of Oh, and here's the course. Oh, neat. We're gonna walk around a little bit here. First thing I'm gonna do is pick up a t-shirt. Here is the I did a t-shirt that I'll be wearing after the race. And on the back, it has like the course map. It's coming home with me. You are correct. Checking out the New Balance tent. Apparently at other races there's like huge lines and you have to reserve your spot in line and yada yada yada. But there is no line here as you can see. And uh, they, these are the shoes that they have. There's mini... Uh, not sure what this one is. But they're all like black and white designs. Steamboat Willie. So I'm going to try on these Steamboat Willie shoes. Steamboat Willie design. Mickey Mouse. Run Disney 2015. Very cool. Yeah, these, may, the these may have to come home. I'm going so yeah, home. you know what it's like when people run cooking shows and they have to talk through chopping and mincing and sauteing and make it interesting at the same time. I'm not so. very interesting even when I'm not lacing. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm just, you know, usually at these events, the uh, New Balance uh, tent is pretty significant. You have to like set up a, an, a, an appointment and everything to, to, to well, even get a pair a of shoes. To come. Yeah, so I'm, I'm happy that we were able to come here with no issue and uh, try these on. The inside of them is neat, though. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Initial reactions. What are you thinking? Standing up? Roll away? Roll apart? It's pretty good. You know, I, will I be running in them? I don't know. Walk around. I lost you. Oh, there you are. <laughs> How do they feel? feel good. How they look good. Those are 185. Got my shoes. Shoes. Very exciting. Got you a t-shirt. Got a t-shirt. Going in to get my packet. I got my t-shirt. Here it is. Here, why don't you model it a little better? So this is the t-shirt design. Very cool. What's on the back? The sponsors. And on the arm, Nap Disney. No, and on the arm, Run Disney. Yeah. And on the other arm, it just says champion. Yeah. Yeah, also in the bag, there is a little cliff bar, uh, a couple of oops, couple of ads, and we picked up the Expedition Everest pin for this uh, final run. Packets picked up, t-shirts acquired, pin, got the pin, got... T-shirts, got the bib, got the pins. Got $300 yeah. more broke um, in like shoes, 10 minutes. Um, but we're heading up to the start line now because they have it all set up and it's this really cool little display that we're going to show you guys here in a second. An outpost, like a camp. Yeah, so they're still getting it set up, but here's where the, the race starts tomorrow night. And they have all this like, uh, looks like there's a stage over here, maybe for, uh, you know, the guy who calls out your name as you finish the run. Um, but look at all this cool stuff. The plane, a lot of photo opportunities here. They've got this, uh... Yeti over here holding some gear above his head. Uh, campgrounds, little backdrop over there, and uh, just 
a lot of cool stuff over here. So here's a peek at the course. There's the start, there's the finish, and that's where the first clue is. And it looks like there are five clues. Okay. Can you hear me fine enough without the mic? Yeah. Is this, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to use it. I'll just use it as a point. <laughs> yes? yes? Yes. Okay, great. Well, thank you all for coming. My name is Steven. I'm with Run Disney. I'm one of the event managers. Uh, so you might see me out here tomorrow night. I'll be around, that's for sure. Um, and we're going to talk about Everest. Have you guys, you just showed up, have you done the race before? No, it's first time. Okay, so everybody's a first timer, so that's good for this race. So the race consists, as you probably know, of a 5K run. It includes three obstacles. We'll go over the map here shortly. And then that is followed by a scavenger hunt run of about close to two more miles. Um, okay. So we're going to start and talk about the course a little bit. I'm going to use this as my pointer. All right, so the start, as we mentioned, is down. It's across the way, which is down here. So when you start, you're going to run around the parking lot. And then this little symbol is our first uh, obstacle. We have three obstacles on the course. They consist of, uh, I'll just tell you, so jumping and crawling, and it would be a surprise. Unless you've done it before, or saw pictures of it before. But nothing, nothing terrible, nothing that can't be done. Teammates can help each other if, if you are on a team. Um, you can choose to skip it if you would like, if it's too difficult. Um, if you do skip it and you're looking to be, you know, the top person, then you could be disqualified for skipping it. They'll call us in and say, bit number one, two, three. Um, but I don't see anybody here that's going to skip it. Y'all are going to do it. I can tell. All right. So you, you do the obstacle here, and then you're going to run up in through the left side of the theme park entrance, um, which is right near mile one. Uh, when you go in the park, Following the yellow line, you're going to go over the uh, Oasis Bridge, which will lead you up to the Tree of Life area. When you get over the bridge, you want to go to left. And I will tell you, if you've been in the park, you've probably seen there's lots of construction, there's lots of walls, so there are some narrow pathways, so I want you to be aware of that ahead of time and not try to be going crazy over everybody. Um, but you will turn left and then head toward Africa. When you go over the Africa Bridge, immediately turn right and there'll be signs and there'll be people directing you and you'll probably be followed the leader. Um, and then you're going to go across Africa and then you're going to go into uh, Asia past uh, Expedition Everest. Why we're here for? Um, and then around past the Finding Nemo Theater. Then you're going to go backstage. That's where you hit mile two. Mile two, as I mentioned, we'll have another one. We'll have our first water stop. Um, and you're going to run backstage behind Everest, and you're going to get to your second obstacle. Um, it'll be off the side of the road in the grass. You'll definitely see it. There'll be people pushing you that way. You will finish that, pass a little bit past the uh, Everest, and then you're going to turn around and run on the opposite side of the road. If you have a teammate, um, if you don't, or your teammate's here, you're going to 
you're going to proceed to that tent right over there. That's the first clue tent location. At that clue tent location here, you're going to get a clue. If you're a team, you only get one per team. Um, one in here, I don't know where it is, but at that uh, clue location, you will receive a guide, a uh, park map, you're going to receive a sharpie pen along with a flashlight so you can read the clues, uh, you'll receive your clue, um, and I think that's it, I just want to make sure. Yep, keychain, flashlight, pen, park map with first clue. The first clue, you're going to need to look at that and try to solve it. Get ready to, you know, there'll be volunteers there to help you if you to give you some hints if you need it. Um, but they're not going to give you the answer. Um, <laughs> once you uh, think you have the answer, you can start traveling to the next location, which is going to be before the park opens or before you get to the park entrance, which is right up here. Too. So also on your clue, and you'll see these five boxes are at all of our clue locations. On the clue, it's going to have tell you which area to go to at the next clue location. So it might say, go to Mickey Mouse, go to Donald Duck, go to wherever. Um, so each of these are going to be signs that will have that location name. So if it's Mickey Mouse, you're going to go here and you're going to look for Mickey Mouse sign. Um, and that's so we can kind of keep you a little bit separated so everyone's not going to the same one at the same time as um, they cross the uh, uh, finish line. So you're going to get to clue two. There'll be signage, be lights, you can't miss it. Um, and you'll give, present your answer. Don't give, get rid of your clue cards. It's going to be very important to keep them. You'll find out why later. Uh, but they will then present you your second clue card, where you will once again be told to go to one of these five signs at the next location. Uh, along with the clue, so start trying to figure out that clue as you make your way. So, important part here, when you're coming through, you're gonna, once again, go on the left side of the theme park entrance, and you could, based on where you are at, how fast you are in the corrals and things like that, you could be mixing in with 5K runners still, because like I said, the 5K takes an hour to get us all the way started. Um, so for those people in the first corral, they're gonna, they could finish in 15, 20 minutes, the 5K portion, and then be mixing in with the rest of the runners. So uh, look for the signage. There'll be signage stating which side to go on. Uh, but when this time when you come over the Africa Bridge on the scavenger hunt, you're gonna go left to Clue 3, and that's Harambe Village. So that's where the Festival of Lion King is now. Uh, and that's where you'll get to your, present your answer for your uh, second clue to get your third clue. Um, not very far to clue four, as you can see, so you have to be really quick and, and uh, under and answer it. You, know, you can take as much time as you need. Uh, you go to clue four, and then here's our next crossover that I was talking about earlier. So when you're on the scavenger hunt portion, when you get past clue four, you want to be on the right-hand side. If you're doing the run, you want to be on the left-hand side, so you can keep going toward excavation efforts. You do the scavenger hunt, you're going to be on the right hand side because you're going to turn over what they call the Asia Bridge. And you're going to run across the Asia Bridge. When you get across it, that's your clue five, which is your last clue. Um, you'll solve that clue and then you will make your way back out, back out over the Oasis Bridge. You'll come backstage again, and this is when our crossover is again. And this is what, at this point, you want to be on the left side of the road back here come around, you'll come back out through that same gate and into this chute that's behind us, which will be where the official finish line is. You'll want to cross together. You'll, when you cross, you, before you cross, you'll be presenting your blue answer, and they will say, okay, you can cross the finish line. That's when your official time will be logged. All right? Uh, and then, of course, we'll have refreshments, we'll have your medals, uh, and then you can either get your gear bag if you add some, make your way to the party, Everyone, yeah. Up to you Here is a sample clue. Hmm. I'm assuming we get uh, some type of uh, legend for what those numbers mean. No. No? You have to figure it out. That's all you get. Oh.
Okay, now I'm concerned. <laughs> Just wanted to give you guys a better look at some of the stuff we got in our package today. So this is the bib. It's green, as you heard, because we're a team. Um, and there's the name of our team, Superhero Team Up. We're in Corral D. Here is the entrance to the uh, to the after party. It's like a you know this red wristband thing. Final race instructions packet. Now these are the shirts we're going to be wearing for the run. The Anandapur Yetis. Uh, Disneystore.com had like this whole line of t-shirts based on rides um, for March Madness and you know I saw it and it came in the day before we flew out so perfect timing to wear it for the run. And here is another look at the actual running shirt or the actual shirt you get in your packet. Very nice uh, quality technical shirt. And because it's not often I do a uh, run Disney run, I picked up this hat. I, I really like it. And uh, tomorrow we will be participating in our first run Disney run, Expedition Everest Challenge 2015.